some windy conditions out there. They're going to continue throughout the evening tonight. And they'll be around tomorrow as well, but they're warm winds. And notice it's cloudy, some showers up in Washington County. Got a few showers here in Chantilly. Over in Annapolis, we have some low clouds as well. So everybody is cloudy. Temperature-wise, look at the numbers. 59 in Leesburg right now. You got 63 in D.C., 61 in Frederick. Even the cooler spots up and down the Shenandoah Valley, you're still at 55 degrees. Hagerstown, 55. 55 right now in Cumberland. We're tracking just a couple of light showers, and most of these are falling up into parts of uh, northern Maryland. Around the Beltway right now, it's dry, or at least the lack of rain. We had a few showers earlier, a lone shower there in Montgomery County. Some of the heavier rain moving out of Berkeley uh, County up into sections of Washington County and then heading on back along 68 and 70. That's going to be a wet drive for you. You'll need your wipers back toward uh, Cumberland, Frostburg, heading into Garrett County as well. But nothing of major significance, minor impact, I think, at most as we look at that. And our model's doing a good job, the high-resolution model here, picking out those showers. They'll increase in frequency around the area over the next several hours here. Once we get past 7, 8 o'clock, we'll see more of that and a little bit more widespread. Isolated spots could see the rain that's a little bit heavier, but I do not expect thunderstorms. I don't expect, certainly don't expect severe weather or anything like that. Kind of a nice rainy evening, I suppose. You'll hear the rain in the, in the distance uh, off in the background, and temperatures are going to stay very mild. Out the door tomorrow morning, we are dry. If you wanted to get out, you're heading to the poles early. I would not expect rain. Bus stop forecast for the kiddos, it's going to be dry. But once we hit mid to late morning, we'll start to see a few spotty showers around noon here and there, but a lull into the early afternoon before yet another wave moves in here for your evening drive. And this wave here, 5, 6 o'clock, this one may have a thunderstorm or two with it. We're in the general thunderstorms category from the Storm Prediction Center. And then tomorrow evening, just some hit and miss showers before they taper off uh, all in. We're looking at a more dry time than wet tomorrow, but something that we are tracking for you. So off and on showers tonight, it's very mild. Temperatures in the 50s this evening. That will taper off after probably midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, and then maybe some patchy fog. I think our limiting factor there is going to be the breezes that kick up, and that's going to kind of prevent a lot of widespread fog. And then areas of rain off and on throughout the day tomorrow. Again, mid to late morning, and then again for your early afternoon. There will be some breaks in there. Uh, that's when we'll see some of those breaks. So 60 degrees on your Wednesday. We're dry midweek, dry on Thursday. Another round of some showers with some breezes kicking in here on Friday. The weekend, jumping ahead, is looking dry. But we'll be tracking again. Showers tomorrow, showers again on Friday, and fairly mild when we're looking at the temperatures. Scott, send it over to you. And now, the Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Take a trip down memory lane. What were you doing at 21 years old? I would guess most of you weren't one of the brightest stars in Major League Baseball. Juan Soto is growing up right before our eyes. He thrives on the big stage, the big moment. And as he told me in spring training, the best is yet to come. Juan, you're one of the young stars, the young faces of Major League Baseball. People are looking to see you ascend your game, get even better. How do you plan on getting better this year? I mean, I, I'm i gonna try to get better in everything. I'm gonna get better hitting, I, I wanna get better in the outfield, I wanna get better running the bases. I wanna keep working on it. With those good numbers come those high expectations. How do you process people expecting big things from you? I mean, you feel good about when they talk about you, but it's not done yet. You gotta keep working hard and then put the numbers right there. It sounds good for me, but I don't I don't think like oh it's I done it. No. I now I got I, I'm just starting right now. Soto and the Nats in action today facing the Marlins. Joe Ross had an impressive outing, three innings, one hit, no runs, and two strikeouts. The Nats beat the Marlins three to two. Also, the Maryland men's basketball team remains at number nine in the latest AP Top 25 poll. The Terps return to action tomorrow, visiting Rutgers. So, guys, it's March Madness. Here we go. It's a great time yeah. of the year. Two more regular season games for the Terps. Win both. I like their positioning going into tournament time. All right. Hopefully, they can rebound. Yes. Well done. Nice. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, Thank you, Scott. <laughs> next at six, the story behind this picture of Terry McAuliffe stuck in an elevator. All of the attorneys at Greenberg and Betterman, they were understanding, they were considerate, they were caring. They felt like family. They felt like a part.